Recording in progress. Good morning, everyone. I'm here to talk about persistent left SVC, a sinister persistence. PLSVC is the most common systemic venous anomaly, which is associated with 4 to 8 percent of cardiac anomalies. It drains in the right atrium via coronary sinus. Here's a little peek into the embryology of this variant. So there are two anterior cardinal veins which drain the cranial portion of the fetus into the sinus venosus, which is the primitive atrium, through common cardinal veins. There are transverse venous plexuses which connect these two. Normally, there is regression of a part of left anterior cardinal vein and normal central venous anatomy with left brachiocephalic vein and right SVC is formed. Regression of these transverse venous plexus and persistent of the left anterior cardinal vein results in PLSVC. Earlier, PLSVC was known to be associated with cardiac anomalies like septal defects, conotruncal anomalies and arch abnormalities. However, there has been a change in our understanding from what we came across in the last four months with extra cardiac anomalies and systemic anomalies being more common. This is an original article published in the Journal of Ultrasound Obstetrics Gynecology. They came across a total of 82 cases of PLSVC associated anomalies with heterotaxy and isolated cardiac anomalies being more common. Chromosomal anomalies were third most common. All second trimester ANC patients who were referred for anomaly scan and fetal echo were searched for PLSPC and associated anomalies. Six such cases were identified which are discussed below. The first case is a 26-year-old primary who came for anomaly scan and PLSPC was detected. A muscular VSD and duodenal atresia were the additional anomalies. These are the images of PLSPC lateral to the ductal arch. This is the muscular VSG with flow from right ventricle to the left ventricle. And this is the transverse section of fetal abdomen showing double bubble sign suggestive of duodenal atresia. Case 2 is a 28-year-old who came for anomaly scan and PLSVC was noted. This image shows PLSVC and right SVC on either side of the aortic arch. The fetal heart also shows AV valves at the same level a single inflow and two parallel outflows which are coming from the morphological left ventricle. Here is the video showing the same. A single inflow and two parallel outflows which was suggestive of unbalanced AVSD with double outlet left ventricle. Case 3 is a 23 year old primary who was referred for polyhydramnios. The fetal heart showed PLSVC absent thymus with aortic arch flush to the sternum, a large main pulmonary artery as compared to the aorta, polyhydramnios with echos, and a ventricular septal defect with an overriding aorta. This video shows that the fetal heart is deviated to the right and a muscular ventricular septal defect with a dilated main pulmonary artery. This also shows a large main pulmonary artery arising from the dilated right ventricle. This is the color Doppler of the scene which shows a forward jet into the main pulmonary artery with a regurgitated jet as well. With above findings, a diagnosis of absent pulmonary valve syndrome variant of Fallot's tetralogy was made. We also suspected Dijot syndrome in the fetus, but the mother denied in visual procedure. Case 4 was a 22-year-old multigravida who was referred in view of polyhydramnios and PLSPC. The fetal heart showed an inlet VSD with absent septum primum, suggestion of partial EVSD with a dilated coronary sinus. IVC was not seen and instead another vessel was noted posterior and to the left of the aorta at the level of four chamber heart, which was the azygous continuation of IVC. Both the outflows were parallel arising from the right ventricle and there was pulmonary stenosis as well. These are the two parallel vessels in the fetal thorax. Absent IVC with all hepatic waste draining into the right atrium and there was also over-distended stomach. Postnatal 2D echo
So it shows a double outlet right ventricle with pulmonary stenosis. This is the small permeable artery and PLSPC and right SPC on both sides. Still images of the same shows PLSPC, absent IVC with dilated azygous vein posterior and to the left of the aorta and hepatic veins directly draining in the right atrium. The child was operated for gastric outlet obstruction and they found a fibrous band across D1 segment of duodenum with the pre-duodenal vein. The IC junction was also not fixed in the retroperitoneum. These findings were suggestive of partial malrotation with left heterotaxy. Case 5 was an elderly primary gravida who was known to have SLE. A PLSVC was noted along with ventriculomegaly with normal spine and hepatic course calcification with normal maternal torch titers. This is the video showing persistent left SVC along with these two findings. Case 6 is a 25-year-old primary gravida. Her fetus was found to have PLSVC. On detailed evaluation of fetal heart, following anomalies were found. This, is the feet, uh, this was the PLSVC which was uh, to the uh, left of the pulmonary artery. The axis was deviated to the right. The ascending aorta and the aortic arch appear small. This is the ascending aorta, smaller than the main pulmonary artery and small left ventricular outflow tract. And there was also a shelf-like structure at the aortic isthmus, which is seen here. Shelf-like structure. At 24 weeks, the Z scores of the ascending aorta was minus 1.6 and at 28 weeks, it further reduced to minus 2.8. There was also incidentally noted fetal peritoneal curvilinear calcification adjacent to the stomach. Hence, a working diagnosis of evolving coactation of aorta or aortic arch hypoplasia was made. At last, I would like to say that PLSVC is an anatomical variant. A thorough search for cardiac and extracardiac anomaly should be done. Invasive testing for genetic evaluation should be done when indicated. And in case of an isolated PLSVC, the patient should be counseled and followed up for development of evolving anomalies. And most importantly, it should be considered as a soft marker at the back of the mind. Thank you. These are my references.